Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll basically be creating an implementation of Event Bus in Vue 3 using MITT library as well as, uh, or you can say, or using Vue use uh, composable use Event Bus. So, first of all, if it's your first time hearing Event Bus, so it was present in Vue 2 basically to bas uh, allow sharing of data between components without having, uh, without using event image, etc. In Vue 3, we have a lot of ways of passing data like props. Uh, event like previously what we had obviously provide inject as well as you can use pinia also but if you really want or you uh, if there's already a project which has event bus and you would like to migrate it uh, we'll be discussing that how we can do that and other than that uh, if event bus is basically an application of a pattern you can say publish subscribe or or as well as observe a pattern one way so if you're interested you can check out those videos in this channel itself but other than that we can now dive into our implementation as you can see i went ahead and basically created a uh, two chats one is one chat is going to have some data which is test data as you can see here another chat is going to have basically uh, an input box as well as a click me button so will you basically and there will be no extra details here will you basically whenever we uh, do any modifications here and just click on it it's going to basically modify this child one data so to do that what we'll do is like i've already went and created an event bus uh, ps file uh, there are different ways of going about it uh, first of all let me show you the package of json I'm using something called MITT uh, library. I'll be using that I'll, along with I'll be using uh, a composable from you uh, view use code to do the same thing. So for uh, there are different ways of approaching this. Uh, I felt like uh, instead of globally registering MITT library in the main.ts file uh, makes it difficult for you to understand where you're using the event bus. Hence, I'll be basically doing it a different way. But if you are interested, you can basically register here itself using provide inject or basically register this MIT library as a plugin or maybe uh, you can say provide it and then you can inject into components but I'll be creating a file so I have created a file here I'll just write the logic here I went and created MIT uh, instantiation of it now I can use it in the child one so here what I have to do is like uh, first of all let me emit it here i need to basically import it i just need to pass an event name i'll give it an event the child to basically we need to basically emit the event here we need to basically pass the data which will be nothing but text dot value in our case and the child one will be listening to it let me call event bus here also. We need to basically listen on the specific event here. And I need to make it a string. So let us see now what happens here. Let me refresh it. Trying. As you can see, it's working fine. So it's working fine with the MITT library. Now we can use uh, the event composable. Let me just comment this logic here. Use event bus is the name of it. We need to give it a key. I'll give it a key of event. Now to use it in the child view, first of all, let me just comment it off so you can reuse it later on. Now let me again add the event bus dot. This time I need to basically only get the data out of it. Hence I'll just say data. And let me do one thing, let me copy the string itself. We need to do something similar in a child to component. Here again, we need to write event bus dot emit. And just let me remove this. Now again, let me close this and let's see if it works fine or not. Let me refresh it. Let me write try. It's working fine, it seems. 
there are a lot more things which you are, if you're interested you can check out with the event bus as well as the mit library because i have not delved too much deep into it so if you're interested you can go more into it but honestly speaking if uh, if you're starting a new project from scratch i would suggest you to check out props events or provide inject or maybe pinya if you really want instead of event bus because i from my experience at least i have felt uh, it becomes very difficult for you to know which component is using the event bus and not basically it's just my personal opinion is like if you are starting a project you can just go with so using event bus you can use other patterns like provide inject uh, props etc that's it i think for this video hope to share and videos as well and bye